Carl in Chicago writes to me, he says, Hi Paul, you've mentioned several times the possibility of converting a recording from PCM or DSD to analog as a step in the recording mastering process. Can you elaborate on that? Is the analog version created in this process saved somehow or is it done on the fly? If the former, wouldn't that introduce all of the problems associated with analog recordings, dynamic range, limitation, noise, etc., into the process? I'm puzzled. Please explain. <laughs> sure. So it really depends on, on what you're doing. In our case at Octave Records, we do everything in DSD. And we've done that for a few years now and we'll continue to do that because DSD is the very best by a large magnitude kind of recording. It's more natural. It sounds more like what the microphones are picking up. Now PCM, I mean, look, there's great recordings on PCM. Great recordings. I listen to them all the time. They just don't have what DSD has. But DSD has a problem. DSD cannot be mixed and DSD cannot be volume controlled. Once you record something in DSD, it is what it is. It's a one bit system, pulse density modulation, which is the good news because if you do it at a high enough sample rate, you don't have any of the noise uh, problems that are typically associated with it. But again, you can't do anything. You can't, like, like in PCM, you can take digital streams and you can mix them, you can volume change them, all that kind of good stuff because they're multi-bit systems and we can do math on them and come out with some pretty good stuff. In DSD, you can't do that. So what do we have to do? Well, one of two things. Either A, we convert it to analog and we put it onto a board like the big Studer here and we mix just as any engineer would have done in the past. And, and this is a real pain in the butt because yeah, it's a great mixer, but it has no memory. There's no, I mean, once you make a mix, you better hope that it's the one you want because if you do another mix, all this is lost. And, and that's not the greatest thing. And look, an analog board is a compromise. It, they're great. This is, happens to be a wonderful sounding board, but it still is a compromise. Now, to your question about, all right, what do we do with that? Well, yeah, if we were to take the output of that and then capture it onto tape or some other kind of ancient analog recording um, scheme, yeah, we, we would have all the problems of dynamic um, restrictions and noise and all that, but we don't do that. What we do is we put it back to DSD. So imagine you're listening to this we're playing pure DSD out of the D to A converters, and now we have analog. We mix it to our heart's content. The output sounds the way we want, and now we can take that analog version using DSD again through an A to D converter, put it back into DSD, and now you have the final mix. And is that compromised? Yes. Is that compromised in a way that really is going to affect the way it sounds? Well, that's all a degree, a matter of degree. It, that whole process is a hell of a lot better than recording in PCM, mixing in PCM, and the final results coming out in PCM. I guarantee you it's better. So yes, it's a little bit of a compromise. Now when we use the Pyramix system, this is the original way that we did it on the Sonoma system. Now on the new Pyramix system, we go through the same thing, but instead of converting to analog, we have a special process that converts it to PCM. But here's the tricky part. If you record in PCM, you're kind of stuck with the results. If you record in DSD and then using the proper tools, convert to PCM, 
Is it perfect? No, but it's pretty darn close. And to my ear, it's better than converting to analog. Okay, now we can mix in PCM. So we've lost a little bit, but not much, and not as much as I think we do in analog. Now from there, we can then go to analog, or we can go straight into the final mix and convert it to back to DSD or keep it in PCM. All of it is a bit of a compromise. The question has always been in engineering, in recording, in all of those things that we do is, because everything we do is a compromise. I mean, we get it as close as we can, and then we do the best we can with what compromises we have to make. And to my ear, the newer way that we're doing it, recording in 256 DSD, which is outrageously good, converting it over to DXD is what they call it, just 352 PCM, mixing in the box, and then either going to back to, to analog from that 352 uh, and then doing our conversion or keeping it in PCM and, and, and down sampling it. So, okay, anyway, that's probably more than you wanted to know. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.